let's now take a look at different database views used for different purposes. And basically, we're going to take a close look at forms, tables, SQL, and reports. These are all views that you can be asked to either design or describe within an examination. So the first one is a form view. And forms are used on the internet, they're used in databases, and they're basically for data entry. They are for the collection of data. If we take a look at this form here, we can see we have a variety of different places to enter data. We've got text boxes of different lengths, which basically show where we expect more or less text. We've got an option button, okay, which can be used to represent a Boolean. We've got a drop down box where we might have a specific list of answers so we can use our data validation principles to ensure that the correct answer is entered. And we've got an area for a logo. Down the bottom, you can see, I can click between records where it says 01. And basically, it's for one entry at a time. I enter in one record, I click the arrow, and I go to the next record to enter. So it is a very user-friendly way to enter data into our database. The next view we're going to look at is SQL. In SQL, it's a pretty bare-bones view, and it's all based on code and us understanding the syntax of that code. There are four key words that are required to know in this course. Select, from, where, and order by. Where select represents the fields, from represents the tables, where represents the condition you're looking at, and order by is the order you want your results to appear in. It's um, primarily language-based, whereas the opposite, QBE, is software-based. The software makes an interface for you, and you merely have to type in what you're looking for, your actual example, hence the name, QBE but the SQL version is heavy on the user understanding the language. Next is the table view. The table view gives an overview of all data in the database. It can also be a display for a query's result. Table views show us a lot of data at once, multiple records, but they're messy. I can't format them, but I get a good view of what's in my database. Table views can also give me an example of how many characters are open for the database. So if I look in the suburb column, they're all only three characters long, which means my field size would be three. The postcode, there's only four characters, so my field size there would be four. So when you are given a table view in an examination question, try to look for these small things that actually give away details about the database itself. Now, if I did want to format an actual table, I would then be looking at using a report. Now, reports are used for summarising our data and presenting it in a way that it is readable. So here, I've done a query for customers in Cogra, and I can actually change the layout and the way that the actual results are displayed so that it is more meaningful to me. So it is a display method, and it makes my data more meaningful, which is what we want our information systems to do. So here you can see the actual addresses are more in that kind of letter format, the way that I traditionally see them. And all the data is a lot more clear and spaced out than it was in the table view. So try to understand why we use different database views for different purposes, for whether it's for collecting, for organising and overviewing, for searching and sorting and analysing, or for displaying.